Hi, welcome. My name is Heiko. Today I will show you how I made this little raised bed. That's an upcycling urban gardening project. It's very easy. Easily done in 30 minutes for one person and it costs almost nothing. Spring is coming and we have temperatures around 0 degrees. It's the perfect time to build a raised bed. We want to use that old unused backyard to grow some vegetables and bring a bit of green in that place. For that project I used 5 pellets of the same dimensions and normal hand tools. Yes, you can do it even with simpler tools if necessary, but it will take a little bit more time and elbow grease. And okay, we're jumping right into that build and it is like Aristotle always said, never throw away bottle caps. We will use these bottle caps as feeds to prevent the contact between wood and ground. That is an important step as this raised bed will sit on concrete, so it will let the wood dry and will increase the lifespan of the raised bed and the wood. I just screwed on the bottle caps to the bottom side of the pellet. 12 to 15 caps will do the job for a raised bed of that size. I started to strip the pellets. My goal was to have one clean board at the end of the process as I don't like these usual pellet raised bed look with the downside of the pellets facing outwards. For this job I used a crowbar and an angle grinder or yeah you can use a saber saw if available and you like that better. In this step it is very important to cut all the sharp nails and at the same time try to maintain the stability of the board itself. This board has to withstand later on the pressure of all the soil inside the raised bed. It might be necessary to screw some of the cover boards of the top surface of the pellet again to the rest. Uh, because maybe you have to use a lot of force to get rid of the unnecessary parts. All these mm, single-use pellets are a little bit different uh, how tight everything sits together and how hard it is to get rid of parts. The next thing is to mount the sides of the raised bed. Again I used bottle caps to maintain the distance to the ground. The sides are mounted with big screws to the wooden blocks of the base pellet. As a little fixation I used little clamps to hold the sides in place while I was drilling the holes. This is just because I am a lazy guy and I do not possess a third arm. Okay, to make the corners now you can take old chair legs like I have or any piece of wood um, to screw it in place. You can also take the leftovers uh, from, the, from the pieces of wood that we already um, put away or cut away. So it's also possible to use these pieces of wood. I had some leftovers, it's nice, so let's install this. I just repeated the process on the other side. I think you have an idea how that might look like, so I cut the scenes away. Okay guys, now we have to make this sides. As you can see, the top of the pellet is a little bit too long. We will cut that. Um, 
yeah that's an easy process as you can see it has to be a cut in the middle of that of that board so I recommend taking an electrical saw maybe a jigsaw is the best uh, because you have some nails in it so if you take a good blade of your circular saw you might screw it up so yeah mark it with a pencil cut it screw it on I measured the distance between the side walls to make sure that they are parallel. Then again, bottle caps as distance pieces, drilling, screwing, ready. It was very important to screw the sides first only to the thicker parts of the long walls and not to the wooden blocks we already installed. You will see in a minute why I did it that way. Now, as you can see, we have the gap here. So to, to close that gap, we take this cutaways and put it in here or insert it and then we can screw it so that everything is nice and uh, firm and tight. Okay, these are the rest pieces now. Just insert it. Good. As you might have noticed we have four gaps to fill on each side but only three pieces of wood we have from the cutaways. As we are not Wirecard or any other big bank house that can double things that are not there, I show you in a minute how we can solve that problem. I'll show you how the math is done. You can do it with the chisel as well. Pretty much that way. Or even oh, where is it? With the saw. Whatever works for you best. So let's finish that. So guys, we are finished with the, with the raised bed, with the project, everything is nice and ready to go. So you can put the soil in here, just as it is, but I really recommend adding a garbage bag or plastic um, of any sort along the walls, so it keeps the moisture in here. Uh, down here on the, on the bottom you need a kind of um, fabric, so that the water can drain. So this is everything from my side now. If you're more interested in making it more versatile, I do another video in upgrading or upgrading this bed. So this waste bed will be more versatile, more usable in the next video. So stay tuned. I hope I see you soon. Happy crafting.